think sometimes when people read Genesis and talk about the fall, actually the pictures they come into their mind are more from Milton's Paradise Lost than actually it is from the Genesis text. Now, in fact, when you go to the Genesis text, it's fairly spare on the detail. It doesn't give you a huge amount of detail. It doesn't answer all the questions we would like to know. Um, but it has the essential storyline there very clearly, that here was humankind with a relationship with God. They disobeyed, and they disobeyed God. They put themselves in the place of God, and they were cast out of the Garden of Eden. I mean, that, those are the, that's the bare bones of the story. And of course, they ate of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, which I think many biblical commentators would take as referring to the fact that humankind put themselves in the place of God. They wanted to take um, the choice upon themselves about what was right and wrong, which is really a, a choice that only God can make, and, and God had given them commandments which they disobeyed. Uh, and so, in a sense, it was the, the first example of humanism, uh, secular humanism, if you like, you know, where humankind goes off and says, no, you know, I don't want God, I want to go my own way and do my own thing. I mean, that, that is what the sort of full narrative is about. So it's not really about, um, you know, whether there was death before, physical death before the fall. I don't think that's really part of the essential part of that narrative. Now, of course, people have pointed out that Adam was warned by God um, that on the day, in Hebrew it says yom, on the day that you eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you shall surely die. And so the interpretation is that physical death didn't exist and then physical death came into being when Adam and Eve disobeyed. What I find interesting actually is at that moment they didn't drop dead. You know, if you, if you want to take the day literally, the, the Hebrew text is pretty clear, you know, on the yom, on the day that you will eat the, the tree of knowledge and good and evil, you will surely die. Well, they ate of the tree and they didn't drop dead in the narrative. And the fact they went on to have a big family and have lots of children. So clearly something else was going on there. And I think many people would see that as spiritual death came into being. So alienation from God came into their relationship very sadly. And they were cast out of the Garden of Eden, representing the presence of God. That's where the tree of life was. So they were excluded from the tree of life. And you have this amazing picture of a flaming sword, you know, being put up so they can no longer have access to the tree of life. So in other words, we can't, humankind, we cannot find our way back to God through our own efforts and our own strength and our own works. And, and then, of course, you have the message of God's grace coming in and so on. So God walked and, and called out, Adam, where are you? You know, you have God seeking after Adam and Eve. who They were ashamed. They were hiding themselves because they were ashamed, ashamed because of sin and God seeks them out. So the whole graphic story, I think, is, is a figure, it's told in figurative language, but it's about a real happening. It's a, it was a real alienation from God. That had huge fallout in terms of um, the earth, you know, no longer was humankind able to look after the earth properly and be good earth keepers. They, they made a mess of the earth.